Yeah, it's an interesting question. Probably one of the most striking features of the way in which the political debate has changed um, in the West is that uh, is this kind of complete collapsing of China's political system and political institutions into a narrative which is singularly about the Chinese Communist Party. Now, whatever is being talked about, an institution in China, a company, a major company, the story always ends up, it's controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. So the whole, the governing system is China, is reduced to the Chinese Communist Party. And the Communist Party is presented in exactly the same way, more or less, as it would have been in the Cold War. You know, it is evil. It is dangerous. It is manipulative. And, and, and so if an individual speaks out, then they're liable to be treated in the same way. He or she is a member of the Chinese Communist Party, uh, a, le a leading member or is associated. So, you know, you, you, your guilt by association, guilt by membership, guilt by association, something like that. And so the political debate about China in the West is now reduced to a Cold War mentality. Then, then how do you have a serious dialogue? I mean, when I listen to people like Tugendhat, I know he doesn't know anything about China. In their version of history, basically, um, China is reduced to the period since 1949. China has no existence other than that. There are no traditions to talk about. Confucianism, they never, ever discuss any of those things. All those things are absolutely crucial to understanding China, in my view. And appreciating the nature of China as a civilization state and not just a nation state, all of those things are completely lost. They're not interested in them and they don't. And that's a big, that's a setback because there was a curiosity about China prior to 2016, which has been lost. So this is a problem. This, this collapsing, this concertinering of the political system in China in the Western discourse to simply something about the Chinese Communist Party, which they basically identify with the Soviet Communist Party in the Cold War. That's where, that is the level of political debate by and large now. That is the discourse. That's, now that's a very, that's very damaging for China's reputation in the West. And it's very damaging for Western uh, discourse because it's so crude, it's so hopelessly distorted. It's so destructive. So, so this problem is quite a deep problem because it's acquired real political uh, momentum and is damaging the way in which the two, say, let's talk, the West and China view each other. So then, then how does China respond to it? It's very difficult. It's very difficult to respond to it. You know, I have a general view about relations between countries and or relations between adversary, adversary, adversaries in any political situation, uh, situation domestic or, or, or international. And that is keep the lines of communication going, keep the discussions going, respect differences. But don't find, but don't follow a path of excommunication because, because you need to talk. And ultimately, however bad things are, they're not going to last forever like that. People need to be sometimes helped from, rescued from their positions when the situation improves. So I think China's always best advised to take the long-term view. China's very good at taking the long-term view. And I think that to avoid unnecessary acrimony, to avoid actions which push people into greater hostility towards China, should as far as possible be avoided. I don't want to make a, a kind of general rule about it because sometimes it's appropriate to do that kind of thing. But I think that China should always take the long-term view and find ways of debating and discussion, even with people who are really, in many ways, beyond the pale. There must always be, you know, you need to keep the lines of communication open. You need to find ways of 
debating. You need to find ways of understanding where these people are coming from. I mean, if they're very anti-China, why? What's the problem? What's why are they like this? Because they they, they might have been like that all along, but not to the same degree. So actually, it's also a question of listening to a society. It's li you've got to listen to a society. You've got to understand the society. If you don't un listen to understand it well enough, you'll make a mistake. I mean, in a way, that's what happened to China before 2016. It wasn't listening enough. It, 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 was, it, it was misreading American society. It was taking the beltway and the kind of high level contacts that China has with America as America, when in fact, the center of gravity of America was moving in the completely different direction, which is why we got Trump, which is why we've got where, where we are now. That's why you need to really understand the society well in order to deal with it successfully and be able to think strategically and subtly about that society. By the way, the West has exactly the same problems about China. I mean, or rather much worse problems because it doesn't understand China. You know, there are some people who do understand China, but by and large, they deal in crude with crude cardboard cutouts of China. And that, why, why, why is it like that? Well, there are two reasons. One, because they're so different. And secondly, because at the moment, relations are, are bad uh, between uh, the two countries and the two societies. So uh, it tends to be too often the communication of the deaf. So if we can get everyone fist fitted with good listening devices good good hearing aids i think that would be good you know you know uh, angry as i'm sure chinese are and as i am when i hear westerners absolutely berating china and uh, and dismissing it uh we've got to find a way of discussing it with them we can't just kick them into touch because they're influential and they represent a body of opinion. And we need to try and shift that body of opinion. And to shift that body of opinion, you've got to shift some of its representatives.